This is an example of a cool cell system that is circulating the right amount of water. Basically, according to manufacturer recommendations, we're supposed to be able to circulate 0.75 gallons per minute per linear fit of pad system. So this is around a 50 foot pad, so we should be looking somewhere around 40 gallons per minute. This pump on this house actually is doing 60 gallons a minute. So we're putting a tremendous amount of water over this pad. Now the primary purpose of that is to make sure that A, the pad is wet, yeah, that's great, but to, to be able to keep the pad clean. Now, this is a plastic pad, which means since it doesn't wick out, it needs even more water. So that's part of the reason we're doing 60 gallons per minute on this, to make sure we can get the pad wet throughout the whole length of it and throughout the whole depth of it because it doesn't wick. So again 0.75 gallons per minute uh, per linear foot is what we're circulating over. That's about 10 times what evaporates. So we are circulating water. Now when we look at the system, the water's not spraying all over the place. We're delivering it to the pad. There's no wastage. Everything looks great. And part of it has a really good header on the system. Um, this isn't the only one, there's um, other systems you can do it. But the question is, can you run your pump full out, not cutting back the flow, and be able to keep the water on the pad like it is here? Again, really a lot of water flow there. Well, that is just flowing off my finger right there, which is ideal. So we look at the system, really neat um, header on this. Unclip that, and all we do, pop it up and we have access to it. Now part of the reason, one of the challenges here with most houses is the, the end of the truss keeps her from really looking at how hard the water's spraying up. But I can push this away and I'm going to get totally, totally wet here. But you can see, whew, it is putting a lot of water out. That water's probably spraying up 16 inches, inches tall. So great system. Now. The other thing to keep in mind is when you, in order to circulate a lot of water, you need to have a really good reservoir. What we're looking for, the reservoir should be enough capacity that you can run that pump three or four minutes without it running dry. So we're looking that this, this system, this end of the system, should be able to have a, you know, a, a, some capacity there, probably 150, 200 gallons which this one does. So I can turn it on, have a high flow of water over that pad, get the pad thoroughly clean, keep it clean, make sure it's good and wet, and I don't have to worry about my pump running dry. Now, we can always debate whether, well, I'm operating mine off a timer and I don't need for it to circulate this much water. Again, we can go back and forth on that, but my point is your system should be designed so that you can run the pump continuously. That you do have at least 0.75 gallons per minute flowing over this pad. That again will ensure the pad stays clean, helps to remove minerals, helps to make sure it's thoroughly wetted, which is especially important on a plastic pad, and just basically gives you longer life and good cooling uh, for your birds.